can God be limited by our thoughts? Yes. I give you one example and I will want to close with that. Mark chapter 6 records this. Jesus after doing many miracles and performing greater things in the life of the people, he goes back to his original hometown which is called Nazareth. He goes to Nazareth and uh, the Nazareth people, they know Jesus from the small childhood. They knew him from the young days. So when, when Jesus became a great man, the whole world is praising in every area of the, of the region. But when, he, when, G, when they saw Jesus in the hometown, they, they saw him, they saw him and they said, this fellow was a young boy. He was, was he not a carpenter's son? He was a carpenter's son. He was an ordinary man who was running with us here and there. How could he do miracles? So when, when they asked, when he started to preach, this is what the Bible records, uh, Mark chapter 6 verse 2 to 5. He began to teach in the synagogue and many hearing him were astonished to saying, where did this man get these things and what wisdom is this that he is talking to us with mighty works are performed by his hands. Is this not the carpenter's son of Mary, the brother of James, Joseph, Judas and Simon are not his sisters here with us? So they are offended at him. But Jesus said to him, A prophet is not without an honor except in his own home, uh, country, among his own relatives and in his own house. And verse 5 says, He could not do mighty works there. Because they were, they were limiting Jesus and his ability by their thoughts. We can limit God's power. We can limit God's potential to do miracles in our life with our inaccurate understanding of God and smallness of our thinking. This morning I want to tell you my dear friend, God says enlarge your tent of your vision. Enlarge your understanding of God. Enlarge your understanding of your perspective of God. God is greater than whom you think. Look at your neighbor and say God is greater than whom you think. God is really really greater it is not, there is nothing impossible with God. Can we say hallelujah? Hallelujah. Maybe some of you have experienced, some of you have not experienced, but I tell you, this God, Jesus whom I am presenting to you, He is a God who is able to do all things. Everything is possible with Him because He is the creator of the universe. He is the God, He is the Lord of Lords, the King of Kings. How many miracles we have hindered in our lives because we have a very limited view of God. The story here in, uh, in Abraham's life, Abraham's life, if you know, I just tell you that it's a very prophetic, significant story. Abraham was called by God. God called Abraham. God called him and he said, you follow me. Leave your family, leave everything that you belong and have. You come. And after he came, God said, I will bless you. I will make you father of many nations many great nations you will be a blessing those who bless you will be blessed this curse you will be cursed apo he believed that and with hope he acted and he followed ana walkaila pathina whatever that god promised there is no child yet he was barren sara cannot be, uh, give birth to a child for many years time passed time passed chapter 13 14 everything passed 15 also came then one day our friend abraham is sleeping in his tent he's sleeping in his tent God came and he is asking. So God called Abraham and he said, Abraham, I'm going to make you a great nation. Don't be afraid. Then he's saying, God, you never fulfilled the promise. You are, what are you going to give? Can you make my Eliezer in, the, in my house, uh, my heir to the promises? God said, no, no, no. You have your own son that will come from your own body. Amen. So God said, where, where was he? Where was he? Where was he? He is in his tent sleeping. So, but God, the word of God says in 15 verse 5 says, God called him out of the tent and he said, look up the skies. What was limiting him was the, was the place that he could not see the vision of God. Today, this morning, I tell you, God is going to reveal something powerful to you. Amen. Hallelujah. As you sit here, when he came and stepped out of this tent, when God opened his eyes to see the stars of, that is in the, in, the, in the heavens, and he said, if you can count, number them. Number them. If you look at the sands of the sea, can you number them? That many 
that your descendants shall be. Amen. Hallelujah. Can we give the Lord a big hand? Hallelujah. I tell you, when until he stepped out of the tent, and he, he, until he stepped out of the perspective that he had about God, he could not see the reality, my dear friend. Today, this morning, the call is for you to expand your vision about God. Expand what about expand your thought about what God can do in your life. Hallelujah.